The Golden Gate Half Marathon is an event that celebrates the best of San Francisco and the Bay Area's running community. But for some of the participants, this is not just about running, but also about raising funds in support of good causes. To talk more about this is team and training member Whitney Palmetto and race winner Taylor Gilland. Taylor, Whitney, thank you both so much for joining us today. Thank you. Yeah, of Thanks course. Thanks for having us. Of course. Now, first of all, congratulations to you, Taylor. I know you were a big winner this past weekend, so very exciting. But uh, the big biggest part about this Golden Gate Half Marathon we know is that it really does help support good causes out there. So Whitney, I'm going to toss this first one to you. What exactly does this encompass this race when it comes to giving back to good causes? Yeah, for me, this race was significant for a number of reasons. Last year, I was diagnosed with a very aggressive form of leukemia. Mm -hmm. Um, I started treatment with the current standard of care, which is a grueling chemotherapy regimen. But then I was fortunate enough to find out about a clinical trial mm -hmm. that's treating it with immunotherapy instead of chemotherapy. Uh, so for me, this marathon is really a celebration of health and also the medical advancements that got me there. Um, and an opportunity to do some fundraising for team and training, which is going to allow this medical research to continue and also provide opportunities for future patients to get connected to these types of clinical trials. Amazing. And you, you mentioned team and training. Mm -hmm. Can you expand on that a little bit? Yeah, team and training is the flagship fundraising branch of the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. Mm -hmm. um, it started in 1988 when a father of a leukemia survivor ran the New York City Marathon. And ever since, it's been centered around fundraising with endurance sports. Mm -hmm. um, and at this year's Golden Gate Half Marathon, nationwide team and training raised over $307,000. Oh my gosh, that's yeah, amazing. Which is incredible. Yeah, that really is incredible. Well, congratulations on being a participant of that. Thank and you. Taylor, congratulations to you one more time. I know you won this past weekend. So for you, as a runner and just a member of the Bay Area community, what did this race mean to you personally? It was just an awesome opportunity to get out there and run with a bunch of other people, especially some really inspiring situations like Whitney. Mm -hmm. um, I was definitely feeling tired running up to the bridge, but you've got folks that just got out of cancer treatment within a year, and wow. they're, they're making their way up, the, up, up there. So it's definitely motivating and inspiring. And I think especially after COVID, everyone wants to do something that's more of a community event. So to be able to run with a, a couple thousand people was a lot of fun. That's amazing. And, you know, you as a runner, and this really being, brings the best of the Bay Area's running community together, what was the course like for you? Was it pretty challenging at times? It's a really fun course. So you start at uh, Ghirardelli Square, mm -hmm. and it's got kind of a flat section to go to the Golden Gate Bridge, and then you kind of wind through the Presidio, and there's some nice hills there, and then you cross over the Golden Gate Bridge, and there's some trails on the other side of the Golden Gate Bridge, and then you come back across the Golden Gate Bridge, and then it's almost all downhill the last five miles, which was nice. Oh, nice. Okay, so you're coasting the last yeah. five miles. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And for our viewers who don't know, half marathon, how many miles is that? 13.1. 13.1. Okay. Now, were you a runner or a participant in this year's race, Whitney? Yes, I was. I was 40 minutes behind <laughs> our winner here. <Yeah. laughs> That's okay. It doesn't matter. You were still out there. Yes, yes. And so what did that mean to you to be able to be with other cancer survivors out there and just the Bay Area running community for a good cause? Yeah. As Taylor said, the sense of community is incredible, and team and training really provides that sense of community. As a cancer survivor, it's a wonderful space where you get together and run, but you can also kind of share your stories and bond over what you've been through. Um, and for me, also, my brother um, paced me and ran with me, so that oh, was wow. a really neat opportunity. That's really awesome. Yeah. Go, brother. Good. That's a, see, right there, that's a good brother. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then for you, Taylor, what kind of preparation went into this race? Because it's not easy winning races, let alone half marathons, marathons, all that jazz. So for you, what went into the preparation? Yeah, so I live uh, just over the bridge in Marin, and so I run a lot, and it's on the trails over there that are really hilly that yeah. they help get you in shape. But I think just going outside and running every day will get you prepared for a half marathon. The nice thing about a half marathon compared to a full marathon, you don't have to prepare quite as much. Mm. Uh, you can kind of go out there. That's for some of us. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speak for 
yourself. <laughs> you can go out there and do it, um, and it won't it won't make you too sore or anything like that. So it was a really it's fun amazing. event. It sounds like a lot of fun. And do you have any upcoming events? Where can people see you next, running and winning big prizes? I haven't signed up for any more races. That was, I think, the only one for this year. But maybe I'll do another one next year. Maybe I'll do this race again next year. That's awesome. All right, now let, let's get back to the team and training part as well, because um, I just want to expand on this. I think that is such a crucial part of the Golden Gate Half Marathon. What other ways can people contribute or still get involved to help fundraise? Um, that's a great question. I'd say go to Team and Training. They have incredible resources um, and opportunities to donate through mm -hmm. there. So. And, and what message maybe do you have, Whitney, to other cancer survivors out there who are listening in, hearing your story, and knowing that, hey, there is hope out there and I could do this too? Yeah, again, that was a big part of running is hopefully inspiring other cancer survivors that, you know, you can build your body back, you can get back there, um, and you can do hard things. Yeah, absolutely. And for you, Taylor, you know, to be able to, you know, you came out on top as the winner, but like you said, you ran with so many other members within the community and to run alongside other cancer survivors or people who have been directly affected by cancer what did that mean to you personally yeah it meant a lot my mom uh, was a oncology nurse for most mm -hmm. of my life and actually my sister is now a PA in oncology and so I've heard about a lot of the stories similar to Whitney that they've gone through from from their work and uh, I think the the people that go through that are so inspiring to me and it makes me just feel so grateful to to have my health and mm -hmm. you never know how long you have it for and so uh, to be able to get outside and enjoy life with other people is a is a good thing it really is it's a beautiful thing all right one more question for you Whitney before I let ever before I let the two of you go any tips of advice out there when it comes to confidence or people going through cancer who maybe don't know where to start in terms of that healing process yeah, I'd say just really take it one day at a time and surround yourself with a positive, loving, uplifting community mm -hmm. um, because that really is what fueled me forward through my experience. Wonderful. Well, thank you both so much, Whitney Taylor, for joining us today and talking about the Golden Gate Half Marathon and all the wonderful things it really is doing to help end cancer. We appreciate both of you. Thank you. Of course.